Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of an Atola Technology Disk Sense. This works with the Atola Insight software and it's a piece of hardware that's for disk imaging, especially imaging multiple drives at the same time. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. So first thing we get another box and this is probably the accessory box. And then underneath we have another package. So I cut open the package. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, so this is the Atola Disk Sense, and we have a couple different indicators on the front. Uh, source obviously is your source drive target. Are there target drives that you're imaging to? A switch to turn right blocking on and off, and then a little display. On the side we have SATA connectors as well as these little power cables. So the target side is where we're saving the data out to, so you can have three targets. On the other side we have the source ports, and here you can have three sources connected at the same time with power. On the back we have a system SD, so I'm assuming this is where the um, operating system is stored. USB source and USB target, so you can have USBs as sources and targets. Be very careful about the type of USB you're using with that because it could cause a bottleneck and be very, very slow. You have your power in, you have the power switch, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. If I'm not mistaken, Ethernet 1 is set up for a local network and Ethernet 2 is set up for DHCP if you want to connect it to your local network. And then you have VGA because this is booting up an operating system. And then you have extension, which I guess is an extension card, but I'm not really sure what that's for. And then we have the IP reset. If you don't remember the IP address, then you can just hit IP reset and it'll be reset to the default IP addresses that are in the documentation. It looks like a fairly simple device. It's fairly light. You have source on one side, destination on the other, and then power and a couple other connectors on the back. So let's get into the accessories to this. So we have our accessory box. And the first thing we have are a bunch of SATA cables, the standard connector coming in. So these are for our sources and target uh, connections. Next we have an external IDE adapter. So they don't have an IDE cable, everything was basically SATA. So we have this Atola external IDE adapter. We have our IDE hard drive that will just slide in here. This takes an IDE ribbon if we have it and we wanted to connect it to something. And then we have on the back the SATA connector. Next we have just a standard network cable. Uh, we need the network cable because if we're going to use the Atola Insight software with the DiskSense hardware uh, to do all the controlling and um, uh, monitoring of all the imaging, then we need to connect over the network or make a direct connection from our forensic workstation to the DiskSense. So we need a network cable and a network port. And since I just talked about the network, it looks like we have a USB to RJ45 connector here. So in case your forensic workstation didn't have a network port on it or it was already used, you can basically use this with the ethernet cable, connect it directly to the disk sense, and then the Insight software should be able to be detected um, locally. So this is just a standard USB to RJ45 connector. So next we have a media reader, and this is just a standard media reader. It takes different types of memory cards. Um, it goes to USB, I believe, yep. So it goes to USB. So we can plug all of these different card types in and then plug this in to the USB source port on the disk sense and then image all of these cards forensically using the, the software. We have a standard power cable plus our power brick. So this is needed to actually run disk sense to power up the disk sense. And then we have a IDE power cable. So this connects to the disk sense and then this is power for an old IDE hard drive. Okay. So the other cables would take care of all the power for SATA, but IDE is a little bit special, so this would be for the IDE power. And then this is the IDE data cable, so we could connect an old IDE hard drive to this cable, um, to the IDE adapter, and then connect it in via USB or the IDE port. Okay. Finally, they included a Apple USB-C charge cable. So this USB-C charge cable, I'm not sure if it's powering this device directly, or if you can actually read data through it. So I need to do some research on this and actually see if um, you can power this all through USB-C because that would be super cool. So we have a USB-C, we have one USB-C on the disk sense and uh, 
yeah, if we can connect everything through USB-C, that would be really awesome. Okay. Standard USB-C cable. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Of course, the, the main show is the disk sense. We will have to connect this up to our forensic workstation and then get the Atola Insight software to recognize it. And then the license key for this is actually stored on the device itself. So once you register it once, you can use it with basically any workstation that you have in your lab. So in the next video, we'll show how to get everything set up, connect all of our drives and start doing some imaging. Thank you very much.